Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson we are going to refactor our tests in order to produce a more useful test suit error report. So the idea here is whenever the tests fail, just by looking at the report we will be able to tell functionally, not technically, but functionally we will be able to tell what went wrong. So if we switch back to the browser we have here that we have two specifications and this is the specification list. And the first thing that we can see is that because we were adding here several specifications here at the level of the same spec, several expectations, we were running into the problem that whenever the tests fail, we are not sure exactly what happened. We are here testing uh, several things, making several assertions. So one way to make this specification more readable whenever it fails and also to provide a clear picture of what is the functionality that we are testing is to actually split this into multiple specs. So this will give us an immediate idea of what went wrong whenever we simply look at the test report, which is one of the things that we are trying to do. So in order to make this easier to write, we are also going to initialize here an email field element. And we are going to have a look here at the result of the query function. So this returns a debug element. So we are going to add here another variable, which is also a debug element, which will be the email field. So with this in place, we will be populating the email field for each test. And we are going to be creating multiple specs to give us a much more readable report. So we are going to make sure that the test application is running. We are going to make sure that the email field was created. So it says here it should create a font awesome email input. But now we are going to test for the presence of the icon in this assertion. And we are going to create here another one to make sure that the input was projected. Let's separate this into two different specs. So this is a way of producing a more useful report, many small specs. This is more descriptive of what we are trying to do. So we are going to rename this instead of should create a font awesome email input. We are going to rename this like for example, should include the correct email icon inside the email input, for example. So this is a good description of a specification. And here the last spec we have said should have projected the correct test input inside the email field. So if we now run these tests, let's have a look here at the terminal. We are again going to have failed tests. So this is the same situation as before. But now we will have probably a clear picture of what went wrong. So as you can see, we now know what is the assertion that is failing. So this one should include the correct email icon inside the email input. So as you can see, this test report is much more useful. So just by looking at it, we have a clear indication of what is going wrong with the new version of our component. Let's now see how can we debug a test to find out what went wrong. This is coming right up in the next lesson.